The gas pipeline that delivers about 45% of fuel consumed here on the East Coast remains shut down, paralyzed by a cyber attack. And now the disruption is creating a mad dash to the gas pumps in parts of the Southeast. Elise Preston reports. Lines for gasoline are popping up in several states in the southeast, including North Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. Many drivers are concerned about stations running out. You don't want to miss out. You don't want to be the one that doesn't get gas. The FBI says a private group of Russian hackers called Darkside is responsible for a cyber attack that has crippled the colonial pipeline that runs from Texas to New Jersey. So far, there is no evidence based on from our intelligence people that Russia is involved. Although there is evidence that the actor's ransomware is in Russia, they have some responsibility to deal with this. Colonial Pipeline is working to restart its paralyzed computer systems. They hope to reopen the line later this week, but caution supply shortages are possible in the short term. AAA says if the outages are in fact short term, then we shouldn't see a big impact on prices or supply. But if it starts to stretch out, then we could see some problems. I said, like, okay, I think it's a better time just to do it now rather than later. Oh, so you weren't planning on getting gas? I was planning, but it wasn't necessary until maybe tomorrow, but you never know. The shutdown is also putting airports in Baltimore, Charlotte, and others on the East Coast at risk of low supply. American Airlines says fuel issues had them at a stop on two long-haul flights out of Charlotte. To help prevent shortages, the Transportation Department is making it easier to move fuel by truck. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.